Hey everybody, I'm back once again, and yeah, I've been away for a bit. Hopefully this is a return, a triumphant return, and we're going to unfold this bad boy today. Yes, unfold it, do you get it? And it is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Z Flip? Z Flip? I don't flip it, no. But it is the flip, not the fold. I am looking to possibly get the fold, I'm not too sure. I've been a bit wary about them. But anyway, we're going to unfold this bad boy today, as I said. And yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so here we go. As you can see, the box itself is completely still sealed. So this is a true unboxing. It's my first ever foldable. So yeah, we're going to experience this together. So let's just rip open a tab at the top here. Oh. Don't you hate it when it don't go off fully? Ah, it's a little bit of a paper there. Well, boom, let's chuck those off to the side. So open up here and let's, uh, let's do this dramatically, shall we? Dun, dun, dun. So, it says, look, no hands. One of the best thing about the folds are, you know, I can't be asked reading it all out to you. If you want to read it, you can do there. Ba boom. Your personal concierge from Samsung. Happy days. We've got QR codes here. Thank you for choosing Samsung. One of our most innovative devices ever is now in the palm of your hands. Cool. But sometimes the future takes a little getting used to. So here are our top three tip tricks for getting used to. And that's pretty cool actually. So actually what it is, is tip number one. That's pretty cool. Tip number two. And then we've got a third tip. I like this kind of um, unboxing experience. So I don't know if you get this everywhere you order it, because this is from Samsung Direct. I ordered it directly from Samsung. Um, and I guess it's inside here somewhere, I'm guessing. I'd hope so. There we go. Quite a lot of faff for a small box. Look at that. It's a small box there. And that's about it. I think, yep, not else in there. Let's chuck stuff to the side. And let's bring in the star of the show. Yeah. So there it is. This way around, Samuel. And as you can probably tell by the colour on here, yes, I went for the lavender, a.k.a. purpley, because, yeah, I love the colour purple. At first I wasn't sure. I was like, shall I get the black one? The white one looked a little cool, but you know what? Never had a purple phone that I can remember. It's unique. And why not? It'll look awesome on camera. I hope so. Anyway, let's take around the box really quick, as you can see here. Just got your big Z on the front of it, and it's the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. The 5G is a bit annoying. I don't really know why they do that, but yeah. Um, nothing on the box itself, just some stickers to say if it's open, don't accept it, etc. So it's fully sealed. Let's uh, get a knife for that one. All right, so here we've got a little knife here. Just cut it and cut Cut it again. Ba boom. Stick that knife off to the side. Flip her over. Ready for this? Da da da. That's a bit dramatic, wasn't it? It just looks like a normal phone. Yeah. Decent quality box. As you know, I like a good quality box. Maybe could have done with a bit of foam on top, but I'll let them off because the cardboard itself is pretty damn decent. So stick that there. Uh, wang the phone out. Stick the phone to the side as well. What else do we get? What massive accessories are we going to get inside here? Oh, yeah. Was Yeah, as you know, zero chargers. And to be fair, this phone only takes, I think it's a 15 watts fast charge. Fast charge. And it comes with a Type-C to Type-C cable, as you can see there. So, yeah. Nothing fancy, just a basic cable. And obviously a SIM ejector at the bottom there as well. And also your quick start guide, which do we ever use that nowadays? Uh, to me, if you want to save the planet, I want to save all the trees, stop putting the bloody quick start guides in there. Stick it on the phone. Why not? Anyway, let's just get our soft to the side. It's all bloody annoying, isn't it? And there is actual phone itself. So we'll pop her down. Tell you something, it feels a little more, a little heavier than I expected. Huh. And again, let's the side as well. All right, so here is the actual star star of the show. Star star? Yep. And we're just going to take this plastic off here. So it's not a very satisfying kind of plastic either. It just comes off like that there. And then, yeah, 
nothing uh, spectacular, I don't think. Let's take that off there. So, that's weird. It's got like a little black thing on the back of it. Yeah. Interesting. Here it is. My first ever foldable. Feels a bit weird. Let's take the sticker off the back of it as well, shall we? Yeah. So it's pretty thin. It's about as thin as a normal phone, to be fair. It looks like it's got plastic around the side as well, which we'll take off in a second. But look at that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I must admit, I do like the look of it. And damn, it is plastic at all. It's plasticky all around here. I didn't see that in any of the other bloody unboxings. Huh. And I'm going to flip, I'm going to close it for the first time. Oh, let's have a look. It feels weird being able to do that. They say something, the hinge feels a lot stiffer than I expected. Because I see people just kind of like flipping it. I'm like, oh, I suppose it does actually work, doesn't it? Yeah. And then they just slam it close. I'm like, oh. But then it, obviously it's a plastic, plastic quote unquote glass screen. That's pretty damn cool, isn't it? So tell you what, I'm just going to take all the plastic off and I'll have a quick look around the actual phone itself. All right, so welcome back. So I've got all the uh, crappy bit of plastic off all the sides of it. And um, we're going to have a quick look around the phone. I'm not going to be doing the whole setup and whatnot right now. Got to rush out. Got to take my kids to the cinema. So I'm just going to have a quick look around the actual phone. So as you can see here on the bottom of it, see there, it's got the, I think it's two microphone holes, USB Type-C and a speaker. As you go around to the left side of this phone, it's got quite a few antenna bands. That's something I've noticed on it. It's got quite a few of those. It's got the power button as well as the fingerprint scanner, which is just here, as you can see. Volume up and down. More antenna lines, as you can see here and here. And guess what? More antenna lines in another microphone. I have never seen as many antenna lines. Antenna lines? <laughs> antenna lines. I'm saying it bloody wrong, no matter. Um, in my life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Down the left side of it, more of those lines and obviously oh you also got your sim ejection tool as well uh, sim ejection tool your sim slot there where you can eject it on the back of it just all glass at the bottom which is using i think the victor's glass i do like this color it looks beautiful lovely and then you've got your two cameras which is your normal and your ultra wide and then you've got your secondary display on the outside there and obviously led flash and then on the front of it it's going to have the screen which Again, we'll come to it in a later video. This is just a quick unboxing, just so I can actually get it unboxed, play with it, and then get some videos out for you guys and gals. First impressions, though, I like the way it feels. If I mean, just I'd like that in my pocket like that. It'd be pretty damn cool. And then opening it up, again, it seems like it's going to be a, a very usable device. We'll have to see what the compromises are like with the cameras. Is it a compromise? Is it not? We'll have to find out. But, yeah, I've got to admit, it's pretty damn cool, isn't it? Huh? Anyway, I'm going to get off. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go take my kids to the cinema. And I'm going to go play with it. So I'll be able to do some videos, some tips and tricks, and all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, if you have any questions with regards to this or anything else, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up in a comment down below if I can get my words out. You can smash the like button. Go on. Smash, smash, smash. And subscribe. Why? It's free. Honestly. Completely free. Anyway, people, once again, thank you for watching, and you'll hopefully hear me. You might see these puppies. You might see my face. Who knows, in a future video. <laughs> anyway, cheers, everyone.